The headstock of your guitar is located at the top where you will usually find the guitar's branding or logo. Next are the tuning pegs, otherwise known as the machine heads, that help you tune your instrument. Your guitar's nut helps guide your strings into alignment with your tuning pegs. Your guitar strings are attached to the body by its neck. Most electric guitars have 21 to 24 frets. The neck of your guitar has a fingerboard that is divided up by fret markers or frets. These differences can affect the tone and playability of the guitar. Your guitar's neck can dramatically affect its tone. The lighter the neck or fingerboard wood, the brighter a guitar's tone, especially in the form of a maple neck and fingerboard. A darker fingerboard, such as a rosewood, can give a guitar a darker, more heavy metal tone. Your guitar neck will either be bolted onto the body on a fender style neck, or it can be glued in or set as you will find in a Gibson style guitar neck. The instrument's body would be equally as important as the guitar's neck when it comes to tone. A thick mahogany based body can generate lower, more bass driven tones commonly associated with heavy metal. An ash, alder, poplar, or maple body will most commonly generate a mid-range or bright tone. If you want to mix the best of both of these worlds, you could get a mahogany backed guitar with a maple cap on top. If you really want to achieve that heavy metal sound, a Gibson style mahogany body is usually more desirable for the tones needed to achieve heavy metal. The next significant part of your guitar's tone comes from the pickups. The first type of pickup most commonly found on a guitar is a single coil pickup. A single coil pickup gets a very pure, natural, usually low gain output and tone. This type of pickup is generally preferred by blues, rock, or jazz guitarists. The single coil can really provide a more vocal tonality for the soloing guitarist and was preferred by Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, Richie Blackmore, and many others. The single coil pickup had its limitations in tone, however. One problem with a single coil pickup is its natural clean tone. The pureness of this pickup does not always lend itself towards the tones of heavy metal. The second problem with a single coil pickup is the annoying 60 cycle hum that the pickup always has. In order to eliminate this annoyance, an entirely new pickup had to be invented. Seth Lover invented the humbucking pickup to do just what it sounds like, eliminate the hum. Consequently, a beefier, higher output, heavy metal rich sound was found. This pickup type is far more preferential for the style of heavy metal. Take notice of what appears to be two single coil pickups glued together. These two single coil sources for sound neutralize the hum with polar opposite magnetic pole pieces. This sound is then shot out of your output jack and into your guitar pedals or amplifier. Your pickups work in conjunction with your pickup selector switch to turn on and off or blend your pickups. Your pickup selector switch will come in three or five selectable positions. A selector switch in the up or left position commonly controls the neck pickup or rhythm position and can generally get bassier rhythm tones. A selector switch in the down or right position commonly controls the bridge pickup or the treble tone. Selector switch positions in between add, mix, or blend two pickups to achieve different tonal textures. The in-between positions on a Strat style pickup selector will also eliminate the 60 cycle hum associated with single coil pickups. Every guitar has a volume knob. Use your volume knob to control the output level of your guitar going to your amplifier. Most guitars have a tone knob. The tone knob is a very basic overall equalizer for your guitar's output. The tone knob generally gets very low bass tones at a low output level. On the higher output level setting, a tone knob will produce higher treble outputs. This is a very common setting. The next area of your guitar is the bridge section. 
Your bridge can come in many styles. All bridges contain six individual saddles that a string rests on with one adjustment screw per saddle. A Gibson style bridge is a small oval shaped piece of metal before the final tailpiece. The major difference between the Gibson and Fender style bridge is the Fender style has a floating tremolo system with a tremolo arm used for vibrato as opposed to a tunematic Gibson style fixed bridge which is held to the guitar by the string's tension between the tuning pegs and the tailpiece. A Gibson style bridge will be attached to the body and be the final guiding point between the tuning pegs. 